Hello guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to connect your WordPress website with Stackpath CDN. Now, if you haven't registered already, you can register on stackpath.com slash register. And once you have registered, you will see something like this, but a bit different because you wouldn't have any websites. So I will recommend you activating a plan on this website and creating a new site. After you have registered, you can create a new site in the sites tab or clicking on create a new site button. In the domain name field, put the domain name of your website and on the left hand side, you will see the available services. Tick on CDN after activating a plan and click continue. Once this is done, you will get the IP address for your website and also if it's web server, Amazon or GCS bucket. If you are not sure which one you are using, then you can contact your service provider to find out. Once you have the details, click on continue. On the next page, you will find the edge address. We need that edge address to paste on our website. So I will recommend copying this address now and click continue. After that, go to your WordPress dashboard. Now the easiest way to connect your WordPress website with Stackpath CDN is through W3 Total Cache plugin. If you haven't already installed, click on add new and search for W3 Total Cache. Once the plugin is installed, click on activate to activate the plugin. After the plugin is activated, go to the performance section of your WordPress dashboard and click on CDN. Scroll down until you find the authorize button. Click on that and here you will find API client ID, API client secret. Now we will get those two from our Stackpath dashboard. On Stackpath website, click on your profile and click on API management. In here, we will be generating new credentials. Click on credentials and give it a name. I will give it the website name. Click on save. You will find the client ID and API client secret. Copy this client ID and paste the client ID in client ID field and copy the client secret and paste the client secret in the client secret field. Click on next. Click on the domain name and click apply. You can see site was successfully configured. Click on done. Now to test your site, you can click on the test button. And you can see the test is passed. The next way to test the connection is checking the site's edge address. The site's edge address in this field would be same as the site's edge address on Stackpath. Okay, now that's done. We have a few settings to change. Click on journal settings. Under journal settings, enable page cache with disk enhanced as page cache method. Below that, click on enable under minify settings and leave this one to manual. Down the bottom, Stackpath does not recommend database caching. So we will leave this one as disabled, but we will be enabling object cache and leave object cache method as disk which is already selected. Down the bottom, we will be enabling browser cache with CDN. Of course, this is the most important and click on save all settings. Okay. Okay. Once that's okay. Once that's done, click on CDN and click on add canonical header and save all settings. The next thing is going to on browser cache page make sure to enable set expires header, set cache control header, set total 3 cache header, set entity tag, set cache control header are enabled. Once that's done click on save settings and purge cache. This will delete all the cache files and save all the settings. So that's how you connect your WordPress website with Stackpath and configure it so you can get the most of Stackpath. 
For the advanced features, you can check out these tech path tutorials and if your site already gets some visits, then you can check out the analytics after some time and purge cache which will delete all the files and get all the files from your website again. So thanks guys for watching. I hope the video helped. Let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more of WordPress and SEO. And until then, take care.